We continue now with a price for a drug that saves lives in a matter of seconds. The price of EpiPens has shot up almost as fast as the shot the drug itself gives. Just in recent months, the price has gone out of reach for many. The outrage is spread across social media and right to the desk of the CEO of the drug's manufacturer. Today on your side's Maria Elena Balores talked to a local doctor whose phone has been ringing off the hook about this. Maria Elena. The doctor I spoke with today says it's a matter of life or death. Having an EpiPen is just that important. But over the last seven years, the price has skyrocketed. In 2009, it was $124, made a bunch of stops all the way up to $609 in 2016. And this has a lot of parents and patients frustrated. The Newport News Office of Allergy Partners of Hampton Roads is normally quiet. But with the prices of EpiPens the highest they've ever been, the noise has increased. Every day we are getting at least one phone call of an irate parent or patient regarding the cost of the EpiPen. Dr. Eric Carlin says many of his patients, both young and old, are worried about the cost of the drug. But for people with serious allergies, he has to prescribe it. There really is no alternative for a patient that needs epinephrine. The price of the EpiPen has increased more than 400% in the last seven years, from $124 to $609. But epinephrine, the drug inside of the EpiPen, is the only treatment for people having serious allergic reactions or anaphylaxis. The cost for certain patients is exorbitant and that's really limiting the access to care for these patients. And what I worry about is parents and patients are not investing in buying this EpiPen. Mylan, the company that makes the EpiPen, has increased their coupons for the drug. They're also releasing a new generic version of the EpiPen that will be available in the next few weeks, giving Dr. Carlin hope that more people will own and carry an EpiPen. The only proven treatment to reverse severe allergic reactions is epinephrine. Dr. Carlin says about 6 to 10 percent of kids have allergies and adults that number goes down to about 4 percent. But anybody with allergies can have serious reactions. That's why he urges all of his patients to carry EpiPens. I'm Maria Elena Boloris, 10 on your side.